Today, it was revealed that 14 of 31 athletes from the 2008 Olympics who failed recent retests of their doping samples were Russians. London 2012 gold medalist Anna Chicharova among them. This afternoon, during rare behind-the-scenes access granted to us by the Russian authorities, the sports minister tried to defend his country. It doesn't look good, does it? Almost half of that 31 being Russians, not good at all. Certainly it doesn't look good, but take into account the fact that the Russian national team is the second biggest after the USA and represented by many leaders in their disciplines, so this doesn't give an objective picture of the doping situation in Russia. In 2014, a German documentary alleged that 99% of Russian competitors were cheats. It's worse than we thought. An independent commission then finding the country guilty of state-sponsored doping. In November, Russia's athletes were banned from international competition. Tonight our sport finds itself in a shameful situation. But the crisis has now deepened. A former drugs testing chief claiming he ran a doping conspiracy at the Sochi Winter Games in 2014. This anonymous looking building is Moscow's infamous drugs testing lab. 1400 samples were allegedly destroyed here to cover up doping. Its license has been revoked, but allowing us in here is all designed to show that Russia is cleaning up its act. So this is it, the place where it all happened. This lab, the epicenter of what's alleged to have been a state-sponsored and sophisticated doping program. With a decision on Russia's participation in Rio, looming and less than a month away now, every fresh claim of wrongdoing makes a humiliating exclusion from sports flagship event more likely. You can see it from our statistics that we had like 150 to 100 positive cases per year. So of course the number is quite big. So I think that the ch uh, we needed changes and we are open to changes right now. But many remain sceptical. It's wrong to have drug cheats anywhere near the Olympics. and. If the way to, uh, to, to stamp it out and stop it is to this year remove a country that has been proven to be doing what they've been doing, then in my opinion that's the right way to go about it. But one of the country's most celebrated athletes says Russia must be allowed to compete in Rio. Speaking from her home in Volgograd, Pol Volta Yelena is in Bayeva, told me a ban would be a violation of her human rights. I feel very sad, uh, disappointed and of course very angry because all that's going on now, it's unfair. My opinion, it's totally unfair. Russia says it will criminalize doping, but with the results due of more retests of samples taken from London 2012, the country could well lose more medals and any remaining chance its athletes have of competing on sports' grandest stage. Dan Rowan, BBC News, Moscow.